Okay, this is not your typical crochet video, but I need to know, am I the only one that thinks that something is ridiculous and childish and ignorant? So, I want to start out by saying that when I choose someone as my friend, I am loyal to that person. I am there for that person regardless. That person is there for me regardless. That is what I think the definition of a friend is. Somebody that is going to love you regardless of what you do, regardless of what you say, regardless of the choices you make in your life. Even if that person does not agree with what you choose to do, that person still loves you because they're your friend. We don't get to pick our family, but we can pick our friends. So, friendship is something that is very important to me. Okay, so, to start my rant. I was friends with a certain person. And this person just stopped talking to me one day. Wouldn't answer my calls, wouldn't answer my texts, just quit talking to me. So I asked the person, have I done something to upset you? They tell me, yes. Okay, well, I want to know what I did that upset you because sometimes you can say something and a person takes it completely wrong and they may think that you meant something you didn't mean. So I wanted to know what upset this person. And they say, well, I called you and you were with the boys and you didn't call me back. Okay, yes, when this person called me, this has been a while back, they called me, I was with my best friend Scotty and another person. I was willing to talk to this person on the phone and they said, oh no, 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 it's okay. You're with the boys, go ahead and have fun and I'll talk to you later. Okay, that's fine. Even though I was willing to talk to this person then. So, I didn't call the person back that night because I did not get home until 3 o'clock in the morning. Scotty had just moved back to town. He had been gone all summer long. I went out and was enjoying spending time with my friends. So, I did, you know, try to contact this person later on. And I didn't call them when I got home, because at 3 o'clock in the morning, if it's not a life or death situation, I think it's rude to call somebody, especially when the person has to work the next day. I don't want somebody calling me at 3 o'clock in the morning, and I've got to work the next day. I think it's rude. I'm not going to do it. That's not me. So, this person, you know, hasn't talked to me for a while. I still consider this person my friend. Me and Scotty didn't talk for a year and a half. We had a falling out, didn't talk for a year and a half, not a word. Seeing each other out in public, didn't speak to each other. When we started talking, we picked right back up. Like, there was never a year and a half gap there. To me, that's what a friend does. You know, that's a true friend. So, I thought, you know, I'll give this person some space, it'll blow over. I still consider this person my friend. I don't just be friends with, you know, anybody. And so this person, you know, goes on their little rant and war path and says a lot of things that I was like, whoa, like, that's not cool. So I emailed this person and I said, hey, what was up with what you said? And they said, we're not friends. Don't say that we're friends. I am not your friend. Okay. Well, you know, I still consider this person my friend. So, this person, you know, months later, is still upset about the fact that I didn't call them back that night because I got home at 3 o'clock in the morning. So, I just think that it's childish. And, you know, to me, if somebody's truly your friend, if you truly consider that person a friend, and, you know, that friendship means something to you, you don't just let it go 
over something that's so ridiculous. Especially when the person tried to contact you and you wouldn't answer their calls or their texts back to just turn around and say, oh, well, I'm pissed off at you. I don't want to be your friend anymore. To me, that's childish. This person's clearly a grown woman. I'm 32 years old. You know, I have a friend that I've been friends with since I was three years old. We're best friends. We're like sisters. You know, during the time that I lived in South Carolina for nine years, I only got to see her twice a year. Every time we picked right back up. You know, I know that she's always going to be there. She, to me, is my sister. And that's what a friend is. And, you know, I, I considered that person to be like this. So, this person then turns around and says, You did nothing but use me. All you ever did was use me for my friendship. You abused my friendship and just used me. Okay, I don't use anybody for anything. I've worked since I was 15 years old. I work my butt off. And I pay my way for everything in life. I don't ask anybody for anything. You know, I'm a person that likes to do for others. And, you know, I don't, you know, really want other people to do for me. I enjoy more doing for other people. You know, yes. You know, if if somebody gives me something as a gift, I'm going to appreciate that if it comes from their heart. But you can't buy my love. You know, love is something that you have to earn. Respect is something that you have to earn. You can't just buy my love and, you know, think that just because I'm your friend that I can't be friends with anybody else, that I shouldn't be spending my time with anybody, that I should be on the phone with you, you know. And there's a lot of people who think that this person is their friend and they're not. This person is not the person who a lot of people think that she is. This person's very fake. She has personally, to me, said horrible things about people and talked about them behind their back and then turn around and claim to be their friend and, you know, act like she's their friend and she's not. That's fake. Of anything I am, I'm not fake. You know... I'm a genuine person. I don't put on a front for anybody. This is me. You know, this is Danielle. Take it or leave it. I'm not going to act, you know, a certain way for anybody to be my friend. I'm not going to beg anybody to be my friend, you know. And I'm not, I'm not going to be fake. I don't want people in my life that are fake. You know, and like I'm realizing now, if this person was willing to go and say horrible things about people who think is, you know, their friend, then, you know, is this person talking about me behind my back the entire time, saying horrible things about me to someone else? And I'm just, I'm not going to deal with that. I won't have drama in my life. You know, I've told people that I was really good friends with that I no longer associate with because all that surrounded their life was drama. And every time they talked to me, it was drama. And, you know, this person did this, and this person pissed me off, and that person pissed me off. I don't have room in my life for drama. Life is too short for that. And, you know, I have told people that I was really good friends with. The drama department is closed. You know, if you can't be my friend and hang out with me and, you know, talk to me without it being about drama, then we don't need to hang out and we don't need to talk because I don't have room for that in my life. You know, I'm not going to let drama to drag me down. I'm not going to let this person drag me down. You know, I am on here because I want you know, to be a part of the crochet community. You know, I love seeing what other people are making. It inspires me. I like showing what I've made, you know. 
hopefully it inspires somebody else, you know, and it just should be about friendship and love and not drama. And, you know, maybe it's just me. But to me, if you claim to be friends with somebody, you don't throw it away. And you don't go and make false accusations against people and say that people are using you when I've never used anybody. You know, I never ask anything of anybody except for them to be honest and genuine and for their friendship. You know, I don't ask anybody to send me anything. You know, that's not what I'm here for. I'm here to meet other cool people who do the same thing I do. And people who are genuine and like me for me. You know, if they don't like me for me, that's fine. Because I'm not going to change for anybody. So, you know, you, you get what you see. And if you don't like what you see, that's fine, you know. I'm not for everybody. But if you don't like what you see, then, you know, you don't have to watch my channel. That's just, you know, how I kind of feel about it. And, you know, I'm sorry to get on here and, like, throw this at people. But, you know, it just, for somebody to accuse me of being fake and using anybody highly upsets me especially when I've never done anything but be good to this person and I've never said anything but good things about this person and for them to just come at me like that is ridiculous and rude and ignorant and it's it's not right I mean in my eyes it's not right so that's all I wanted to say guys so I hope everyone's having a good night I'm going to try to get another video up tonight to show you what I've been making the rest of the week. Because, like I said, the videos are going to continue on. And I'm going to go on with my life and be happy. So, see y'all later. Bye.